Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, so I was talking Prika Call dropped. Hello, yeah, so when I was talking regarding that thing, right? So well guys, so what you just saw was handoff technique. So uh, this technique actually uh, demonstrates something like this. So I just gave you a preview of how this handoff technique actually works in wireless systems. So today's video is all regarding the handoff technique or the handoff strategy which is used in mobile communication. So let's get started. So uh, basically what you have, uh, you have two levels or you have basically two cells that we can say cell 1 and cell 2 and each cell have its own base stations. So uh, whenever a user moves from one base station to another base station, uh, the handoff technique happens. So that we are diagrammatically going to see uh, in this uh, video lecture. So basically during mobile conversation like I was conversing, whenever a user moves from one cell to another cell, the mobile switching center that is the MSC must transfer the call from one base station or the current base station to the next base station. So uh, like when user was, when, so when I was standing there, so it was the cell one that is with A and then when I moved here, I got the proper call or the proper reception. So that was a base station two uh, with cell two. So whenever user leaves the border, so border was actually this line which you can see. So it's a virtual line uh, which you just can imagine. So whenever I left this border of cell 1, the signal strength of the first base station that is BS1 got dropped or decreased. Then when user entered cell 2 and then he again made a call, the base station 2 takes care of the call in progress and the signal strength gradually increases due to base station 2. So uh, well this was uh, all regarding the uh, handoff technique. Now let's see. Uh, why this handoff technique is required. So uh, whenever uh, when you travel abroad or when especially you are in a train uh, traveling from uh, one place to another there may be uh, n number of base stations uh, whether you might be crossing. So whenever some you get some call uh, during the uh, your travel so at that time your call may be in a uh, high level or in a high frequency so your range might be proper and then when you move to the next base station it might reduce. So uh, this technique uh, is essentially plays a very important role in handoff. So uh, what it mainly focuses on is the accuracy of the voice call which is there. And so uh, there is a MSC which is the mobile switching center which plays a very major role in this handoff technique. And if there is a, a excessive delay in handing or the handle of the uh, mobile communication then it results into inappropriate handoff. And so we need a acceptable audio quality where the other user as well as your voice can be reached to the next person at the base station site. So uh, you can summarize this with the help of this uh, graph. So here you can see the uh, received signal level at the y axis and then at the x axis you have the time. Uh, then uh, at some uh, level at point A. Uh, at a later period of time, uh, the call termination happens uh, like we saw before when I demonstrated you. So uh, that was the level at the call terminated and then later what happened level at point B. This was the place uh, where the when user leaves the border the signal strength decreases. So this point signifies here and then when he entered at uh, base station 2. So the level at handoff done and it was made by the base station 2 and it takes the change and it takes the charge of it and then it just shoot it up and then he can make a call. So uh, this is uh, the technique and these are the cells and the base station of it functions. Now uh, in this uh, you need to have a certain limit or uh, when this uh, signal drops down to optimum level you need to just boost it up. So uh, any signal a strong signal which is more than the acceptable audio level which you can hear is termed as a threshold and that threshold should not be too large nor it should be too small. So that threshold level is given by PRH minus PRM and PRH is the received handoff signal power and PRM here is the minimum usable uh, signal power from that uh, received signal power. So uh, this uh, 
product or the this value or the this uh, equation gives you the threshold level where you need to have or need to place the, your call so that you can uh, estimate how and when the call is made so uh, here what you have a as an inappropriate handoff due to access delay by the MSE and then B uh, where you have the proper handoff from cell 1 to cell 2 when you moved so uh, well that was all regarding the handoff strategies in wireless technologies so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video